Hey, hello and welcome back and that is right there's been another reported vulnerability floating around in Linux now that is a very important distinction for today's video here because although in the past year year and a half we have talked about ransomwares and exploits and people trying to get hold of the data on your NAS this is one that takes a couple of layers back and although a lot of the vulnerabilities we talked about in the past can stem from Linux in which the majority of the NAS brands that I talk about are built on this vulnerability is a relatively new one let me explain it's known as dirty pipe which again awful name some of the names that get come up for these things once you really break down into why and the pipe that is being utilized for this exploit then it makes a little bit more sense again i'm not going to go into too much technical specifics i'm going to link to a couple of articles in the description that will go into a lot more detail about the execution of this vulnerability but long story short it comes into linux themselves uh, linux uh, kernel 5.8 and above uh, and there's some exceptions along the way there um, it is a vulnerability that was found in there to give the ability to uh, give a user admin utilized privileges and inject malicious code into the system. Previously, a uh, slightly more technically um, achieved version of something like this a few years ago uh, by the name of Dirty Cow, again, uh, C-O-W, but again, nonetheless, awful names for these exploits. Um, but going back to it, with Dirty Pipe, this is something, a vulnerability that was in Linux. Now, again, it's important to note that it is version 5.8 there, and we'll go into a bit more detail why in just a moment. But this was reported at the end of Feb, early March, and since then, Linux have patched this out. But just because Linux have patched out this vulnerability, it's not the end of the road there because most of these NAS brands have their own software on board and therefore they need to do their own patches and updates there. Now, I mentioned about the vulnerability there being on Linux kernel 5.8. The reason that's important is not all NAS brands are running on the same version of Linux. And in some cases, such as in the case of the Synology, everything we've seen online indicates that um, there are slight differences system to system, but they run on kernel uh, 4 and 4.4 .4 and different revisions of that. Consequently, this uh, exploit seemingly doesn't seem to impact them right now. Uh, the same goes if you go and break down into the TerraMaster platform as well. They are running, I believe, 4.4, maybe 4.5. Again, it does fluctuate with version uh, 5 currently in beta. Now, this is important because a lot of the time when I talked about ransomware or malware on NAS systems or even the particularly bad ones like what happened with WD, which was to completely wipe the whole system with no need for ransom, who got, what kind of malicious idiot does that? In this case and this exploit, we are earlier on it than most users have ever had the opportunity to be. This is the sort of exploit that months or even a year down the line, people will be impacted because they didn't run updates okay so if you are watching this video yes qnap is working on a patch update other nas brands no doubt are running their patch and updates as well applicable to their system where it's actually necessary but make sure you've got your auto update on make sure you've got those updates i know that some of you aren't overly keen on doing that because you worry about some updates and if you're not going to run auto updates uh, at least make the following changes to your system at least in the short term and again you can do all or some of these it does depend on your own personal setup so Disable port forwarding uh, where appropriate to the NAS on your system. Uh, disable UPnP and auto router configuration settings where your system will actually open ports on the router remotely. Uh, disable SSH and Telnet. Uh, again, you may be utilizing that and that may not be possible for you. But remember, this is an attack that if you're going to have two-step and stuff like that, that isn't going to be as applicable here. Um, changing the port number, of course, is something more randomised. Always important there because a lot of the work that goes into this does lean into brute force once uh, uh, a vulnerability is achieved and connection established. Uh, disabling the admin account is always recommended anyway. <coughs> and where possible, get those auto updates on regardless of your NAS band and of course get your uh, backups in order get a multi-stage backup get something there running in the background because again this is very early and this may well come to nothing but if you are running a QNAP system in your home or business environment and you're not running the updates as regular as you should 
this is a vulnerability that later down the line might be exploited. It is a targeted attack vector, which does mean that it does require a little bit of prior knowledge about the intended target. It's not as easy to do a blanket randomized attack, but still nonetheless, it does mean that there is a vulnerability there. There is a hole in the fence, so to speak. Now, again, Linux have already released a patch note, uh, patched update for this, and that patch is being integrated across different NAS brands. Don't just assume that that vulnerability being applicable to kernel 5.8 upwards and you're running a system that doesn't run that kernel means you're bulletproof. You should still take note of everything I've said today and also get your backups in order and get your security network in order. I do not want to have to make a video like this in six months because people who were notified, because fair play to the brands, particularly QNAP as well in this instance, because they have updated their security counselor immediately with this. It was from them that I heard about this. Um, so again, Get your updates in order, get your security in order there, and don't just take for granted that this right now doesn't seem like much. It's a little storm in a teacup. Be preemptive, protect your data. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next video.